All right, good morning, 7th and 8th grade band. This is Mr. Davis. Um, we are going to be going in the Red Book today and starting on page 22. We're going to skip over some songs because uh, we don't have time to learn those parts and me to play them all in right at the moment. So we'll come back to them at some point. Uh, but we're going to be looking at number 85. It's a warm-up. It's in 3-4 time, so 85. You'll see flutes, you have a low G and F that you need to work on. Uh, clarinets have a low A and G underneath the staff and memorize where they're at underneath the staff. Uh, saxophone has a low E and D uh, just without the octave key. Um, and don't, don't forget that this song uh, does not reflect a key signature. You just have to use the accidentals. So flute, trombone, start on an A flat, trumpet, clarinet, treble clef, baritone will be on a B flat. Alto sax will start on an F, okay? And this will repeat. And I'll play it one time through um, on the higher notes, uh, like the trumpet has, uh, you know, like medium middle notes, you know. And then I'll play the clarinet part, which has lower octaves, so just in case people are playing in the different uh, octaves. Here we go with the higher octave first. One, two, three, one, ready. like the clarinets have. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> But anyway, so that's the lower octave as well. Um, I don't know if on the upper octave I actually repeated that because it's been a long week. And I'm doing this at the end of the week so that you can have it on Monday in case we're not here. And now we're going to look at 86, full of hot air. 86, full of hot air. You can see flutes have a high A natural and B flat. Make sure you work on those. Trumpets, treble clef baritone. Work on your middle line B, second valve, and open C in the third space. Trombones work on your high A in second position and your high B flat in first position. Okay, uh, I think those are all the notes that everybody in the class, yep, that's all the ones that we have for today. But um, full of hot air, I will play uh, what the trumpets are doing. It's more of the upper octave, so that's with uh, flute, uh, trumpet, trombone, yeah, flute, trumpet, treble clef, baritone, uh, Trombone, you can all play along with these notes right now. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> clarinet saxophone we can play our in our lower octave here one two ready play <laughs> So I'm going to do a couple Christmas songs each day. Um, I'll do Holly Jolly and We Wish You Merry Christmas again today. And then, like I said, I'll do two different ones each day. Make sure you're working on the, along with me and wor working along with me on them. I can't talk today. And then you practice on your own. And then, like I said, there's extra credit. Some of you need it. Go inside the extra credit and play those Christmas songs in there once you get them down pat. 
Um, also, I want them uh, for a virtual concert, so I need everybody working on, on them and then submitting stuff because I need you part of the concert. I want you a part of it, I need you a part of it, and you guys are awesome, so please work on those things. All right, today I'm gonna play uh, the tenor saxophone uh, book because that's what I have right here. So I'm just gonna play it on trumpet. So it sound a little different here or there just because the tenor would be doing it. Here we go, one, two, ready, in. <laughs> Sorry, I was getting a little bit of build up there at the end of that, but just if that happens, just, uh, you know, get your uh, instrument cleaned out, uh, pause it, delete it, and then we'll just start over. So always look at the key signature when you're playing songs to make sure that you're in the right key. For trumpet, I'm gonna be having a B flat, so I'm gonna have a first valve here. So you just gotta look at those differences. Most of the time right now, it's either clarinet, trumpet, have a difference between B natural or B flat in these keys. Uh, sometimes uh, flute, trombones they have a difference of the a to a flat depending on if you have b and e most of the time and then you might add the a flat uh saxes just got to see if whether they're playing your f sharp or your, whether you're playing the f natural and then remember you have accidental notes in there they have to watch for too this one doesn't have too many accidentals you just got to watch your key and make sure you do the repeat sign okay and i'm just going to play like i said i'm playing out of the tender book i'm going to play this one an octave lower on this ready one all right, so we wish you, um, remember it's in 3-4 time. I will go all the way down to 20 and repeat back to 5. I'm playing the tenor saxophone book, so it'll be a little bit different than some of your parts. It's okay if it is. Just work on yours. So one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> So percussion, it's your turn. Remember 85 warm-up out of the red book. Uh, it has quarter, eighth notes, eighth rest, and eighth note combination. So 
So remember, if you're doing the eighth note after the eighth rest, you'll use your left hand, and we'll do a repeat sign, okay? All right, percussion, we're going to do 85 warm-up three, four times. Just remember you're sticking. Three, four. Just that way a little bit, okay? And then remember if you have an eighth rest, you only rest on that beat, and in the end you play your left hand. All right, also in that pattern, right, left, left would be great if you have three quarter notes in a row. One, two, or one, two, ready, go. To repeat. All right, snare drums, 86, full of on air percussion, uh, 86. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, percussion, here's Holly Jolly Christmas for snare drum. Just working on it. Here we go, Holly Jolly Christmas. One, two, ready, go. rhythm on the knock three, and then one two one four one two three four snare drum now we wish you a Merry Christmas percussion on we wish you a Merry Christmas on their snare drum all right let's look at that rhythm we go one two a uh, one two three one ready go
then don't forget I messed that up. It should be it should be two lefts. Ready, last two measures, ready, go. Still think I messed it up. Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. Yeah, I think I would just do that. Right, left, right, left, right. So let's go back and play the last four measures. One, two, ready, go. All right, band class, lesson 15, ledger lines. Ledger lines are very short lines added above or below the staff. Notes may be written on the ledger line or in the space between the lines. This note is one ledger line above the staff. Two lines above. This note is one space above the staff. This is two spaces above the staff. This note is one ledger line below the staff, and this is two ledger lines below the staff. This one is one space below the staff, and this is two spaces below the staff. The names of these added lines and spaces are, so you can see above the line you have G, on the ledger line is an A, above it is a B, and above that is a high C on the second ledger line. You can see below the line you have D in treble clef, C is on the ledger line, B is underneath the ledger line, and A is on the second ledger line below. In bass clef, you bass clef people, B is above the, the ledger line, sorry, B is above the top space, top line note, I'm having all kinds of issues today, I'm sorry for that, B is above the line on the staff, C is on the ledger line, D is above that, and E is on the second ledger line in bass clef. Below the line is low F, on the line is a low E for bass clef. D is underneath the one line, and then C goes on the second ledger line down in bass clef. Below are all the notes that you have learned so far. Treble clef all the way from a low A up to this octave A, and another octave to the ledger lines up here, and then a B and C at the top. Bass clef, you're going to start on a low C, two ledger lines below. Go all the way up an octave in order, and then it goes another octave, so this is above your ledger line, to C, and D and E are above the staff on the ledger lines. Okay, number one, what are the letter names of the first four notes above the staff in treble clef? Okay, so you're going to look at the four notes that are above the staff for number one. Right there they are. Number two. What are the letter names of the first four notes below the staff? First one, four below the staff. So you're going to be looking at these ones below the staff, these four. Okay, now we're looking at bass clef. The first one's above the staff, bass clef. So we're going to be looking here at the B and across those four, bass clef. And then the last one says, what are the four letter names below the staff? Looking at your low F. E, D, and C. It doesn't matter which side or order you go in as long as you have those four uh, written in the space clef. And the last thing is memorize the names of all ledger lines and spaces above and below the staff as shown here in both treble and bass clef. All right, band, thank you for having a great day, and I will see you later.